All right, you definitely got to read this book. I found it really fascinating. So Dolores Cannon, she talked about the new earth and how that will come about. Well, this one has a little bit of a different take on it, but I found it interesting. And I think that you guys should give it a try. It's only about four minutes long. Uh, you can find it um, on YouTube. You go actually order the book on Amazon. The book costs $300 if you get a hardcover. And if you get a regular paperback, it costs $90 for the book. It's a, a little bit high, but uh, it's definitely worth it. A really, really good read. Um, write your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I find it fascinating, uh, but I'm curious on what you guys um, think about it. All right, I'm out. Take care. Bye. Do you see me? Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taking and the other left. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other one left. St. Luke 17, 35, 36. Either you have faith in the prophecy of the Bible or you must reject the whole book. The Bible is an accurate account of events that repeat themselves in cyclical repetition. The above paragraphs say a division of humankind will be made. One shall be taken and the one shall be left. Who is to make the decision? Who will do this judging of humanity to see who will be taken and who will be left? Every day that passes, you individually are establishing your right to be taken by the way that you live. You are manifesting your choice by your action and your thinking. Each person adds increase to their vibratory body aura by conforming to the laws of the universe. Your aura or the frequency of the body force field will determine whether you are taken or left. A definite vibration will be established in the force field surrounding each spacecraft that will pick up people. If your body aura or force field conforms with or exceeds the established level of the spacecraft force field, then you will enter the ship. Remember, you are now qualifying or disqualifying yourself to be taken aboard. None can qualify another. Jesus cannot save you. Some narrow-minded sects of religious fanatics have established that only 144,000 people will be saved. Of course, they are part of the chosen few. Those who will be taken and those who will be saved are two separate conditions. The next thing one asks is, where will the people who are picked up be taken? This is answered in St. Luke 17.37. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. Naturally the eagles gather together in the sky. This was said in a parable at that time, because the people in the biblical days didn't know what it was to fly in the skies. It was not meant for the people of those days. It was said for the people of our time. The space people, or angels, explain that the people who have been taken aboard their craft in those times were not taken aboard because they were better than anyone else. They explain that those people were taken aboard for their own test purposes, to see how different types of people would react. Each one which has been so honored was readily accessible in a remote place. They were of cooperative minds and each represented a different type of earth people. This mass pickup of people will take place prior to the planets rebalancing on new poles. This cataclysm will wipe out the destructive mammon lover who will be left on the earth. After the earth is re-stabilized on its new poles and the continents and oceans have changed, then the people who have been taken up in the air will be landed back on the surface. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of God. St. Luke 21.36 O man, in the rings established within the light of me, orbiting my system, I am potency that moves a nebula, that causes suns to shine. Though some upon this portion of myself have devious ways to violate my infinite wisdom, it is not I who judge nor pay the price. As in my cycles, as in my phases, as in my eons, I have established precision in the order of my parts. And though a voice comes through to you unrecognized by mortals, realize in the voice, I am the potent substance forever of life, pulsing through your being unto eternity. I separate the white from black, and color boundaries do I set, for all my creations are of me, from lowest animal to tree, and all that is. I am the unseen force that manifests in everything you do. Impotent substance clay of me cannot interfere, except to bring about conditions that reflect upon the garment that you wear. O man, never shall you find an end to me. There is no place I cannot be an M. You make your hell by deeds you do in violation of my ways. One who says, Hell is a place in my infinity, is violating me. Reaction is the only hell, rebounding from a spell when you excluded me, O man. 
Some preach there is a hell for others, never for themselves. Watch out for this. Their ego is leading them astray. Through space and time and place, remember, I am there and here with you. I have no hell for man of me. Man who believes there is a hell is reviving imagery of experiences he has had all along the road to me. Thank you.